Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the week of December 18th to the 24th, 2023. First card out for you is the first chakra in reverse with Archangel Michael. Guys, this is a week where you should really be doing some root chakra work and meditations, working on your sense of inner peace, inner stability, and security. And when you have inner security, inner stability, it doesn't matter what you're going through in your relationships, with your mind, Money with your life, you will feel at peace and at ease. And as a result, your external reality will become a lot more calm and centered as well. Relationships will relax and calm down and become more stable. Money will start flowing in more stably, <laughs> with more stability. <laughs> and uh, life evens out, life balances out. So this week, you're being asked to really focus on this root chakra, on your sense of security and stability from within. And then watch as that security and stability manifests on the outside as well. You have the Wild Violet coming out from the Fairy Wisdom Oracle. This is a card of romance. And passionate celebration so beautiful energies there um definitely expect some passion some romance in your life this week even if you're super duper single this can just show you romancing yourself with flowers or candles or just having a beautiful sensual experience romanticizing life itself beautiful beautiful energy and your message from spirit is reach out and it says, we know when you're reaching out or we know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help where offered as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that is, is truly okay to accept support however it is presented to you. So um, you're being asked this week to reach out not only to your spirit guides, but also your own loved ones, your own support system and rely upon them. Uh, for talking, for, you know, getting advice, you know, lean on these people for their love, their support at this time, especially if you're going through hardships, which I feel like a lot of you are because you have the first chakra, the root chakra in reverse here. There is a blockage there in your sense of stability, security, inner stability, health, uh, wealth, things like that may be a little bit stressed right now. Even relationships may be stressed right now. So accept the help wherever you find it in your life, whether that is a good friend just wanting to spend time with you and give you good advice, or even like help on a more literal uh, level, such as a friend or family member letting you stay with them or um, you know, giving you some sort of financial support or you know, letting you borrow something. Like, Don't be afraid of accepting help, especially at this time, because a lot of you may need it. So let's see what comes through here. We're going to get six cards, two rows of three. And your first card out is the two of cups in reverse. So a lot of you may be... Um, struggling right now uh, due to some sort of separation or codependent toxic relationship. It feels like there is a relationship or friendship in your life that is under some sort of stress right now, some sort of strain right now, and that may be causing feelings of personal instability. It's like you just want to figure your relationships out, everything out. You don't like being in any sort of purgatory, toxic, like what are we situation. It's uncomfortable and it creates a lot of inner turmoil. Um, and you know what? It's really important for you to first and foremost advocate for your own mental health. You know, if you are worrying about this, if it is bothering you, if it is really affecting your sense of peace, you know, it may be worth considering, is this something that I want in my life at all? Um, it may be worth considering really leaning on your support system as well through this, um, going to them for advice, talking to them about things. So that way you can understand what your best next step is. I see spirit um doing this or encouraging you to do this this week okay some of you may also be feeling a little bit upset because someone you hoped um would be here in your life is not here and that could be like mourning the loss of someone or it could be like even mourning the loss of a friendship or relationship that is currently in separation so interesting energies but then you have the romance card the wild violet card as well so i think it's really interesting how these uh energies are pairing up together we have the page of pentacles in reverse yeah 
It feels like some sort of physical support that you need or that you want is not here right now. Someone is not committed to you or not speaking to you or like money or health, something like that may be struggling at this time. Um, the energy just may not be there, you know, some sort of opportunity or offer you wanted to come through to not come through. We have the King of Pentacles coming out completely neutral on top of that Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys may have saw um, something beautiful, something long-term in someone and it didn't end up working out in the way that you thought it would. Like you, you thought you could have had a very strong friendship or relationship with someone in your life, but they were not as like committed to it as you were. It may have, you know, caused some issues. Uh, another thing I'm seeing here with the King of Pentacles, this is your masculine energy. This is you in your power. So I do see that you are returning back to your state of personal power and peace, okay? And we see the red color all around here as well. I feel like spirit is, trying to work with you at this time that you're watching to get you to return back to that state of inner stability, inner peace, um, and get out of this frantic sort of fight or flight space you have been in, um, where things feel unstable or you feel very on edge or anxious about a certain relationship or lack of resources or health in your life, something like that. You know, there's definitely something here that's been giving you some anxieties, okay? And spirit is returning you back to a place of being grounded, of being centered, and, you know, making you in control again. Um, having you take control, advocate for your own um, well being is what I'm seeing here as well. Very interesting. Let's see what your second row of cards. Are for this week we have the seven of wands in reverse exactly you know that you're you're at a point here I don't know what it is specifically that you're going through and this is coming out right underneath the two of cups reversed there you're at a point where it's time for you to protect your peace and advocate for your mental health your sanity your protection um, and, and what you need to feel stable, to feel secure, whether that is money uh, from a job, whether that is uh, emotional openness and consistency from a person or communication from a person. It's like, you know what, if you can't offer me this stability, this peace and how you're interacting with me um, is inconsistent and it's starting to affect my personal feelings of peace and consistency, I have to put a protective bubble around my aura. Now I have to set up some boundaries now you brought me to the point where i have to set up boundaries that's what i'm seeing like that's this is your higher self speaking to someone um who is currently on your mind or on your heart or in your life at this time your higher self is saying it's time to put up boundaries now this is coming out in reverse so i feel like you're having a hard time actually establishing these boundaries and maybe putting some distance between you and the person or thing or situation that is um, giving you these feelings of inconsistency and anxiety um but you know again spirit is saying reach out um Ask the people around you for their support, their opinions. You know, they may give you some really clear insights um, that you may not be able to see right now. Reach out to your spirit guides. Ask them for strength. Ask the universe for strength. Uh, you could even ask Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, please come in and activate my root chakra. Turn me into one whose pillar of inner peace and stability is so strong that it does not matter what's going on around me, I am still at peace, I am stable, and I make decisions to protect this inner peace, this inner stability. You know, give me the sight, the wisdom, to see what I need to do to protect my own peace. Mmm, beautiful. All right, last two cards for you this week. We have the Ace of Wands. There's a brand new start. Your, your spark of life, your enjoyment of life is returning. You know, I feel like for a while, you may have been in a very anxiety um, producing situation or a very inconsistent, not peaceful place. And I feel like your spark of life, your happiness is returning. When I think of the Ace of Wands, I think of happiness, having a passion for what's going on in life, wanting to wake up in the morning, excited to plan something, excited to work, excited to get something done. That excitement, that 
that enjoyment of life itself is returning back to you because you took the steps that you needed to take to protect your peace. And you know what? I don't need your romance. I can romance myself. I can romance my own life. I don't need your friendship if it's going to be inconsistent, unstable, and make me feel anxious. I can romance myself. I can be my own soulmate, my own best friend. I can go out and buy my own flowers. I can, you know, take myself and the people who are here for me consistently on dates. I can travel alone. I can travel with people who I enjoy. You know, I don't need your love. If your love and your attention and your energy is inconsistent, unstable, and causing me and my pillar of inner strength to be inconsistent and unstable, that's just not worth it anymore. Don't play those games, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what a reading. Okay, last card out, five of cups. Yeah, this is a card of endings, walking away. It's it's not going to be easy, guys. I'd be lying to you if I said it was easy. The five of cups is definitely a card of missing someone, missing what could have been, you know, grieving the loss of a certain connection here, um, missing the fact that this person isn't here with you uh, during happy times, during the end of the year, during these celebrations. But you know what? There are people around you who are loyal to you, committed to you, um, secure with you. And it's important to give those people your unconditional love, your energy, your blessings, your support, you know, because they are here and, you know, they do deserve it. So yeah, guys, this is an interesting week. I see life is returning to your eyes, your heart, your soul is warming back up again after some painful experiences, but you are definitely breaking out of what feels like an unhealthy connection. Okay. So thank you guys for joining me. Watch for your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs to get the fullest overview of this week ahead. And if you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my goddess energy intention oil there and my spiritual life coach sessions there so check it out subscribe and i will see you later bye bye